We have a product that kind of changes the game. This is the Trimax resettable combination lock for your hitch receivers. We're gonna have one for your inch and a quarter hitch receiver, and then we're gonna have another one for your two inch. What's nice about these and what sets it apart from all the others is you don't have to worry about the locking core getting rusted out. Also, you don't have to worry about losing those keys. You can reset these combinations and that's gonna be very, very convenient so you don't lose your keys. Fresh out of the box, our lock code is set to 001. One, two, three. You just wanna use this little black line here and line up the numbers for the combination and it slides right off. But we don't have to just keep it at 001. We can change it up. So let's show you how to do it. First, we want to put it in just like that, take it off. And then what we wanna do is rotate the bigger part, pull this off, and then all of these four little rings come off. Notice how there's a little black piece right here on all these little nubs. They're all in a line. So now if I wanted to set it to, let's just say 48, 48. We're gonna go right here, four. We're gonna go eight. We're gonna go four. And these don't have to go in any specific order. They just need to be lined up. And last one is an eight. So 48's on this. And then we can put this thing back on fits into place, rotate it to where it all lines up. Then we can take our pin, go through our accessory. This is gonna have a diameter of five eighths of an inch, so it doesn't have much play at all. And then on the other side, what we can do is just put the core back on and then scramble that combination. So put it on there, I'll line it up to where the combination's kind of facing out towards us. And notice when I put this on, the combination is gonna be right in line with these teeth. Combination of teeth, slide it on, scramble it up, and it's not going anywhere. Last thing we wanna do, notice how the zeros are more elevated than the other numbers. Line those up with this line here, and then we can take our cap and slide this over just to protect it against any of the grime and stuff on the road. When it comes to locking hitch pen and clips, this is going to be a definite upgrade. I just always lose my keys. It's one more thing I have to keep track of. With this, I can just set it to a number that I'm pretty much gonna remember. I like how it's made of steel, triple coated chrome plating on the outside, and it does have a sleeve too to protect it, which I just think this is most likely one of the best ones you can get for your more expensive accessories. Even if it's just an accessory that's not really the most premium one, it's smart, especially if you're traveling, to lock it into place. And this is definitely going to be the easiest way to do it. There was a couple questions about the inch and a quarter version of the combination lock. And one, it is gonna be good to use with a class one and a class two hitch. And the usable space, which is from the end of our core, to our little notch right here is about two and an eighth inches. And for the two inch version, we are gonna be able to use this on every hitch, everything up to class five hitches. So that's three, four, or five, which is pretty good. And then also the usable length on it, which is from our core to our little notch is three and one eighth inches. So just grab the right size for your hitch. This is a two inch. If you have an inch and a quarter, we have one as well. And that's pretty much it for our look at the Trimax resettable combination lock.